Hey guys, what is going on? This is LarkNuck1 slash and welcome back to part 8 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. Alright, so you're gonna have to bear with me for this episode because I am a little sick, but it's not gonna stop me from kicking some alien ass and, uh, you know, pumping out that science and culture. Alright, so last time, we were exterminating aliens up north, uh, just north of. Uh, hold on, you know, my webcam always does that. Gong Ren, and. In Tiangong, we were pumping out these three workers to build some bio wells and a peroxide mine. We're about to clear the miasma here. We got some trade routes going all around, uh, but good amount of science and energy coming from Citadella. And we're just trying to deal the best we can with these aliens. All right, so the goal here so far is just kind of hold the line, kill them as many as we can, attract the siege or them out and kill it. And I think we're doing pretty good on that pace. All right, so we did just get up to level four using a quest. So right now we have the option between the artillery um, quest. So really the choice here is between 30% when you attack the cities and 20% against land. In the long run, I like to have these things do a bunch of damage against cities. That's kind of just how I use them. Uh, because I like to have a specialized unit for that. And we just finished the Alien Preserve in Kuyan. So we have a couple options here now. We could go for the Thorium Reactor, which is, I think, a good option. Um, the Network, that's pretty good science at a pretty good pace. The Pharma Lab, which is, uh, not super crazy important, considering the city's only producing one unhealth at the moment. Um, in a few turns it'll be up to seven, though, so that could be a longer-term issue. We go for the Cyto Nursery, which is just going to fill up that health and also give us production and science. Or we could go for Trade Convoys. So I just want to double check how the trade routes in this empire look right now. Because it's important now and then to check up on that. Alright, looks like we got two from Tiangong, two from Kuyun, two from Ninatin, and nothing else. Ganza Rig has zero trade routes. And Gongren has zero, and Huanlei has zero. So we could use up to six more trade routes. So I'm thinking that we should do a little top-down, um, you know, help here and pump out a few trade routes. Not, not too, too many, but um, a few wouldn't hurt anybody. Let's do three. I'll change it to two later if I need to, but I don't think it's going to be that much of an issue. All right, so let's just heal these guys up. I'm really just trying to attract the ire of these aliens, bring them in. And bring them in, I shall. Alright, so we just kill the ones that are closest to us. At the end of the day, we could just farm these things for science all day long. Um, it's not the long-term plan. Long-term plan is I just want to kill a siege room and take the nest. This isn't that bad either. So, the other thing I could do here is... Wait one more turn for this guy to heal and send him into the miasma. Then he can start shooting at least at these aliens. That could be good. Alright, so we did just finish the alien preserve in Tiangong as well. And here we can actually go Institute. So, the thing is, is we were supposed to time the Institute quest for when cognition is done and we pick up social dynamics. So, I don't want to do it quite yet. I want to do it maybe in seven turns from now. So, I think what is wisest is... Uh... Hmm... You get out another worker, send him up north. It's not a bad idea. But I think trade routes are probably more useful out of the capital right now. In fact, yes, let's turn that. Uh, we'll delete one of these, and now we'll have two out of the capital, and then we'll pace ourselves after that. So our third bio well just finished in at 10, and we can just go build another. Um, I don't think that's a horrible idea. at 10 is pretty big. Oops, yeah, but it, all the bio wells are keeping it healthy, thankfully. Locking in the bio wells is kind of important if you want to maximize growth, which we do. So, let's get him up, and... Or we could start building these petroleum wells. I don't think it's a, a bad idea either, considering they are giving us quite a bit of, um... What do you call it? They're giving us quite a bit of production and energy right now. The only thing is that could bring us down to, um, negative 20 on health again. Alright, so what's nice about bio wells is they actually build right on over forests. So we can just build this right on top of it. We don't need to cut down the forest. And at the end, this is going to be a three food, one production tile. Uh, which is a little better than just normal tundra. That's one of the reasons I love bio wells, especially if you have a lot of forests around. 
Alright, so Juan Lei just finished its recycler. So now we have a bunch of options here. We could go Vivarium for long-term growth. The lab for some science starting up early. The clinic for some good old health. Um, it's not going to cover too much. Or we could... I mean, I suppose we'll have good food available shortly. Um, what is it working right now? That tile? Why that tile? That one's superior in pretty much every way. I guess the Empire is trying to stay... Um, healthy? Yeah? Alright, you know what? How about we go here, and as soon as we get the, se the ne next citizen, we'll pick up the clinic, and that'll restore our unhealth. Sorry, restore our health. <laughs> Alright, so we did just finish the recycler, so we can start on the clinic, and hopefully that thing will be done by the time we hit two. I don't want to just get too high with the unhealth. So there are some polystralian combat rovers coming in. I'm not too, too scared. I couldn't conceivably see. I mean, he is up north. Um, this is just a very strange angle for them to try to attack us. That's their goal. And we do have these tack jets on standby. They could move in. Um, for the short term, however, let's just keep on bombarding. Okay. You know, I could just shoot this guy. And the tack jets will finish up. I'm gonna feel awfully stupid if I actually do attack on Zerig. You know what, we could just start reinforcing a little bit. For the time being, I kinda just wanna send a trade right to Gonzerig and refresh this one to Ninit Tin if there's nothing better. Ninit Tin gets all the resources. It's quite a lot. Still very good. Alright, so we could just build a petroleum well. I mean. I think in the long term, though, that's just a lot of unhealth that we can't deal with. Whereas another bio well is just more food growth that we can deal with in the long run. Alright, so you know what? I might just want to send a soldier up near Gonzerig just in case. And let's get another trader out to Gonzerig. <laughs> Alright, did finish a clinic in Gonzerig, which is good. Um... Now we have the option between the Pharma Lab, the Thorium Reactor, the Network, the Lab. I always like the labs, they give us really good science, so I just can't turn down a lab. What's No, buddy, old pal, yours? we're not doing that. At least it looks like he's not warring us. I mean, if he's trying to take out Jinsoku Labs, I don't see how. The thing has 40 combat strength right now. <laughs> and our gunner leveled up. Sweet, so now he's disciplined. Ooh. Just get our fire on. We could just get a quest. This looks like it's the... Yeah, the alien preserve. Alright, so the real question here is all units plus five healing. Or one energy and one science from alien preserves. I love this. Um, even when I play Harmony, this just doesn't even look that appealing compared to this. This is great. I mean, I suppose if you really like the healing. I'm not the biggest fan of that. This is just really nice early. So we're going to go with that. That'll up our science a little bit. Um, not too, too much, but hopefully in the long run it adds up. And we got another trade route here. Let's send this one to Juanle. And we have now two trade routes in Gonsrig. We can start one for pretty high yields going to Gongren. And another one with some decent yields going to Juanle. Or we could go really high food yields. I'm thinking the production yield is probably pretty nice. So let's do that. We did finish the Titan Paddock. So, oops. Where is it? That tile yield is now really, really nice. That's actually incredible. Um, and we can build that Firaxit Mine if we want to now. Um, I'm thinking I'd rather just start another bio well. Unfortunately, we can't move on to... We can move this guy over. Remove the Miasma and get this guy to finish that bio well. So Tiangong did finish with its duties. Uh, we still have one more trader coming out, one more to Huan Lei. The question is, do we want to give Gong Ren a trader out? Um, I'm going to say no for now. Um, and my reasoning is I want to keep it small because it increases the yields for the rest of the cities. But as I'm saying that, I also want to get a worker up there. I realize we do have a lot of workers. Oh, oh snap. The Miasma came back. I thought we removed it. Um, at any rate, 
Do the drones hate us enough to eat our workers? That's really the question. We're not within their range. I'm gonna say no. They're, they don't. Um, but while I say that, I'm gonna hesitantly send my war soldier back down south. Okay, so we did just finish the auto plant in at 10, which is great. So now the question is, do we go with thorium reactors, networks, cyto nurseries, alien preserves? I'm actually going to go with the alien preserve. I just want to get my culture up, and the other yields that we just got are fantastic. So, I don't really see the downside right now. Just keep on exterminating those aliens for free old science. Yep, still the siege room would absolutely wreck us in one shot. It looks like we've killed pretty much everything that's not the siege room at this point, though. I'd love to see the siege room come out and have the gunners engage it. Okay, so the drone didn't eat us. That's nice. Let's just get our soldier back down, and I don't think Utama's actually going to war us. Doesn't seem like the likeliest possibility. And honestly, none of these combat rovers are really equipped to deal with us. Okay, so the bio well just finished. That's nice. Let's see if we can't get another bio well up on this desert. And more and more wolf beetles. There must be another nest. There's no way they're just spawning at this rate. I guess at this rate I can just keep firing. Won't have to pull these guys back for a short while. Attack jets. I mean, at this point, they're uh, maxed out against aliens. They're just bombing. Let us heal this guy. No critical danger. And finish this by well. This trade convoy can... Gongrun's actually only going to give us three production when we really want food. Looks like none of these trades are going to give us food, although some of them improve the yields of... Wait, what? No, that's, see, that's a Citadella trade. I, I must have read uh, this one. Oh, we are doing a Citadella trade. Already. Interesting. No, I, I'm very confused by this. Are we? How many traders do we have out of one light? Zero. I'm very, very confused. Well, at any rate, um, if we trade with Tiangong, we could give it a lot of production. If we trade with Ninit Tin, we can give it a lot of food in production, and Kuyin would just be so full of food in production. I'm going to go with that, actually. Um, none of these yields are really good enough to really help Juan lay out. So, and we do have two trade routes going there in a short minute. Um, while we're doing that, we're just going to make Kuyin unbelievably big and powerful. Kuyin could end up being stronger than our capital. In fact, it's not unreasonable. And the siege room can actually get shot at for once. Wonderful. Hopefully that pisses it off and makes it come at me. I'd love that. Alright, so we can totally kill this thing in one turn. So let's do that. I don't particularly want to retreat, because then it just opens up the land for our uh, trade drives to get sacked. And let's keep on bombing. We didn't kill it. Um, I don't think we're in horrible danger. If it attacks us, it's got, like, no health. Um, thought I'd do more than that, honestly. Oh, well. I don't think we're going to lose that unit. He'd have to do 30 damage. And I don't see that happening. Let's get our soldier down south. And we've got another worker to send up to Gong Run. Worst case scenario, we lose a ranger. Which is never good, but oh, well, sometimes. So we did just finish the Firaxit Mines. We can actually build an observatory here now, which is fantastic. Sign me up. We have so few food resources in the capital. This is why we need bio wells. We'll have two up shortly, but we need more. Alrighty, Kuyin. Now I think it's optimal to build the Pharma Lab. It's going to give us two health and eventually three. Alright, so let's build another bio well on Huanlei. And this trade route can go and finish up Juan Lay's routes. Here we can just build another Biwell as well. Biwells are just glorious. I love them. They do cost a little bit of maintenance, but 
We're relying on our trade routes. So it looks like I was right. The Slavic Pets are attacking Jinsoku Labs. Doesn't really matter. They have 40 combat strength. They will survive for a long, long time. They didn't actually attack our PAC gunner. <laughs> um, surprising, but I'm not gonna take the chance and I'll just send the gunner to heal up and gong run. Same with the bombers. And you know what? Let's send this guy. Hmm. There. It's a 10 heal at either turn. Alright. So this is gonna piss off the drone, but I think we're fine with this Marine. He, yeah, he's a veteran. He'll be a-okay. We got a trade route finished. So this was previously between Tianyang and Ninit Tin. Now we could change it to Gong Ren and get insane yields on the capital. Um, not a lot of food for the cat. Two here. It's not bad. A lot of production, but again, there's not much use for that production in the capital. I'm thinking that this was a good choice. Ninit Tin needs it. We sent it to Kuyin, we could give them a lot of food as well. More, in fact. But, you know... Hmm. I like Ninit Tin being big. Let's just go there. Ninit Tin and Kuyin will be the size of the capital in just under 8 turns. That is, until we get our biowells up. That's a good place for a biowell. Yep. It's within the radius of working for the capital. That'll actually be a 4 food tile. You know, hmm, one turn for Ryle here, six turns there. Yeah, let's send this worker up north. That was the original plan. I was thinking about maybe just letting him stick around in the capital, but no. This trader out will continue to get a lot of food for Gong, for uh, Kuyin. I was wondering why that seemed a lot longer than it did. This trader out can pump Tiangong. I'd actually like the, the food, just the two. We'll help Tiangong get up to speed. These bywalls are actually also going to help deal with the unhealth in Tiangong. And like I said, they are attacking the Marines. The Marines should be A-OK. -okay. Oh yes, more than A-OK. -okay. Just give me science. Give me that juicy, juicy science. I believe it is now time to build the Institute. Which will be done in seven turns. Just two turns after your cognition finishes, so we're definitely safe. Alright, so now we've got three more virtues to get before we get the plus 10%, which is really the goal. So what we could do is leave technologies cost 10% less, or we could go for community medicine right now. So community medicine would give us a good amount of health, probably like five, maybe six. Um, whereas meta research methods would give us 10% less science. Sorry, 10% less science required for leaf techs. Are we doing leaf techs in the near future? Um, we could go tactical robotics or collaborative thought for really, really fast. Um, affinity points get us up to six real quick. On the other hand, I want to go fabrication for Magrail soon. I mean, this is looking fantastic any way you cut it. We have 76 science by turn 146. I think what we're going to go with is we don't quite need the community medicine yet. It's going to cook it, kick in later for a lot. Let's go metal research methods for now. Probably techno artisans thereafter. Which will give us a good amount of culture, uh, science from our culture base. So now Ganzerig got its lab up. Now I think it's time to go old earth relic for the point I just made really, which is culture is just fantastic. Helps us get those virtues faster and eventually it's going to give us a lot of science. And we have these tack jets. And now I wish I could just roll on in with the marine. I think I might bring this marine here and help have him actually start to heal up. This guy just finished. So I suppose it's actually time to build that Phyraxite mine. Let's just send one of these down south. Just in case something else spawns. And we need to one-shot it. Whereas, I think it's high time to build the Phyraxet mine here so we can actually get our observatories up. And here, we can start to build another two biowells on this plains. Yeah, plain river is definitely a lot better than tundra. So, let's go ahead and do that. Get another biowell. And a mana core spawn. So, actually, we're not going to have too many troubles here. We're just going to roll on in. Kill it and get a hefty amount of science. Yeah. 
60 science and 10 science, 70 science altogether, and 25 energy. Now we are running negative. Um, did a trade route end? Trade route to Citadella would have accounted for that much. And it looks like there's some spying going on in Tiangong. So that's another thing we want to keep on our mind is that soon after the Institute, we might want to just build our spy center or wherever it's called, secret agency, I believe. All right, so our pharma lab did finish. So now we're actually at 12 on health only. Um, this is looking good. It's, I think mo a lot of that is coming actually from the bio wells. Um, so when this finishes, we're going to be even better off. But at the moment, what do we want to build in Kuyin? The Cyto Nursery is looking like one of the better options here. Because um, it's going to keep us on track at 12, even when Kuyin grows. Well, the network is good for a lot of science. The Thorium Reactor doesn't look half bad either. That's going to bring us positive with our energy again. I'm actually going to go with the Cyto Nursery on this one. I tend not to build that thing um, as a high priority because there's low yields all around. It's not focused enough for me. And, and then at 10, uh, do we want to do the same thing? I think so. Let's just go Cyto Nursery. It's safe, gives us some good production yields and some good science and health yields. Alright, so our clinic finished in Huanlei, so now that's also dealing with too good on health. Now I believe here we can go with the lab. Honestly, it's going to take Huanlei a while to get up to speed, so while it is, let's might as well get three good old science out of it. And we've pissed off the aliens thoroughly. So that's scary. Um, if I move here, we'll get damage for 10, but I don't think that Wolfiel is going to do 30 damage, especially if we bomb with two tech jets. So let us... Go ahead and shoot it twice. Unfortunately, we actually can't mount with two tack jets when I think about it. Let's move that tack jet back. That issue down south was not nearly as big as we thought it would be. That is okay. I actually don't know what's over here, so let's just get sight. Huh. A few interesting resources. Nothing crazy that's within our radius. Nope. Well, we don't do that. Not yet. Eventually. But not yet. So they are invading, like I thought. I think we'll be fine. We did take them out. And we will survive to see another day. I'm thinking we do this. It's smart. Alrighty. Alright, so we did just get our old Earth Relic done in Ganzerig. And interesting, it actually ends in an ocean up there. Did not know that. Um, so with that said, we could actually move in this way with soldiers and really deal with these nests. But we are just farming it for a lot of science at the moment, so... I mean, there's not a huge downside to just letting it live. The number of aliens we've killed has far exceeded the amount we'd get out of one nest kill. Hmm. Interesting, interesting choices. Enzerig has three local health, mostly from the biowells, I'm sure. Uh, it'll be four once that biowell's done. And I think it's probably smartest to get a auto plant done now. It's going to give Ganzerig the ability in the long term to do a lot of work, which is going to put it on the tier of Kuyin, Ninet, Tin, Tiangong, uh, and Tiangong. So that'll be four really powerful cities now. So I look forward to that. All right, so this guy, I want him to clear the miasma. And then we'll get another buy while going there for the capital. Let us just put these into... Huh. Intercept mode. Kill that one. Get this guy back. Clear the miasma. And we'll get a good old Firaxite mine going. In a short, hot minute. Alright, so we just get another buy while up in minute 10 not working it right now. Um, we could be. In fact, I'd rather it work it so we grow a little bit faster. And let's work that one as well. 11 turns. Huh. We're just growing, growing, growing. I think it's probably time to build the basalt. It's a good production resource tile once we build it. Um, especially because we have this right here. That's actually going to be two additional production on that tile instead of one. Bring it to three production, one food, which is better than any mine in the game. And we don't even have the people. No, we do. This guy could work there, theoretically. Um, in fact, let's undo that lock. 
Doesn't seem like a reasonable lock. And reset it. So it seems we're working it anyways. But, um... Oh, snap. I actually... No. That's not what I meant by reset. I want to lock these all in. I wanted the rest to be... Manageable on what it wants. Man, not making any much of a difference. Oh, well. Um... Okay. Well, this is the end of the episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We just made a hefty economic progress here. We picked up a lot of science, and we'll have cognition in one turn, the ability to build neural labs, and in four turns we'll have our institute. So hopefully thereafter we get our quest for at free tech, and we pick up social dynamics. All right, thank you guys for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.